normally share fast and easy recipes for busy people. Today I'm doing something a little different and I am going to share with you my skincare routine for getting makeup off, washing your face, moisturizing, basically what I do at the end of every day. I've always been really into skincare um, and then I had my son Ben two and a half years ago and my skin completely changed. It got totally dry and it was just, it was not great. So I totally changed my skincare routine and it was amazing. Then I had twins <laughs> eight months ago and then my skin changed again. So now it's like a combination. Um, and so I wanted to share with you the easy steps that I take to take off my makeup um, and just like grime at the end of a long day. So it is a five step process. I use a cleanser and I have tried about eight different cleansers and this is by far my favorite. It is the Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser and it takes your makeup off and the step I do after this is cleansing and it usually used to be the cotton swab was just like covered in makeup, a residue after washing my face. This one, so much less. Then after the cleanser, I use a toner, and I loved this um, Caudalie one so much, the sample size, that I purchased the full size one. It is, it is just bad. the best one I've ever used. It has like a slightly floral scent, but it's clean, and it's just amazing. Um, and also I should mention this year I've been trying to get more into natural and clean beauty products. So I've been shifting over using up all my other stuff to use more clean stuff. Um, so after I do toner, then I do a serum and I love this Caudalie one. I also love this Shishida one. Um, after that, then I use an eye cream and I'm totally not like brand or specific or I haven't found one that I'm like totally in love with. I use like a few different ones, um, trying to use them all up. If you have one you love, please let me know. Um, I also use this one sometimes and this one is from Lancome so it's not super natural but it's kind of awesome. It has this like silver wand and then it's cold and you put it under your eyes and it's just kind of cooling and nice. Um, and so that is this one. Um, and then after I'm done with the eye cream, then I do an all over moisturizer. And um, I use a few different ones. I use like a Tula one that I really like, but their scents are really strong. So just, you know, word of caution. I also am using up this um, sample size one that I like, and I use uh, this one um, from Aveda, which is nice, but um, if you're looking for like a really deep, moisturizing one. I would suggest either the Tula one or the Caudalie one. Um, and then I kind of take turns between doing a moisturizer or an oil. And now this oil is super expensive, but it's worth it and I use it only, you know, once or twice a week and it's lasted me forever. Um, and then I, I use a different, um, cheaper one and I'll make a post and I'll just like link to all of them if it's helpful. So that's what I do. So I do a, um, I clean my face with a cleanser, then I do a toner, then I do a serum, then I do eyes and either moisturizer or oil. So let's get started. And I'm totally blind, so um, <laughs> just bear with me. Move my eye makeup, and I use All May. This one I love because it doesn't leave a residue. <laughs> and I'm using the camera kind of like a mirror because, again, I cannot see anything. serum and I'm actually going to use I take turns using them I love this Shishida one and you can get this at Sephora um, I think like Nordstrom's has it too. it's gone <laughs> so again I'm totally not like brand loyal for eye creams 
If you have one you love, I would love to hear about it. Cause like, I feel this one works, but it's not like, it's not life changing.